Hello, and welcome to Khalifa University's College of Medicine and Health Sciences. In the next couple of minutes, we're going to take you on a tour of all the medical school facilities that the students will be using in their next four years. On this floor, you will find the Clinical Skills and Simulation Center, which has the physical examination room, the operation theater, the intensive care unit, the birthing suite, and the task trainer rooms. So let's start off with the physical examination rooms. There are a total of 24 identical physical examination rooms here. We use them to practice our clinical skill examination. We can develop our communication skills as well as our physical examination skills with standardized patients over here. The rooms are equipped with physical examination equipment, simulated electronic medical recording, to log the events during and after patient encounter. We record every encounter and later on, students can observe their video and facilitators give feedback using CAE Learning Space. There is an internal corridor with a one-way mirror to each physical examination room for the facilitator to observe students during an assessment. Operating room is fully equipped with monitoring devices and a simulator, and it is set up to look as close as possible to our real operating theater. There are simulators and two virtual reality simulators to perform surgical procedures. The simulator is what it's termed a high fidelity simulator. The simulator consists of a mannequin, a rack, and the computer that is in the control room. The mannequin blinks, breathes, the pupil reacts to light and it responds to changes in the physiological modeling and can be connected to the clinical monitoring which gives real-time feedback to the participant who interact with it as they would with a normal patient. The simulator does gas exchange so we use real oxygen or anesthetic inhalation agents and these can alter the physiology in real time. We can change the fidelity of the lungs to show changes in compliance and resistance, and these also change the physiological monitoring in line with the physiological model human patient simulator. We record everything that happens within the room with either the fixed cameras or mobile cameras. If we go through the control room, we can see how the scenarios is run as the team prefer to run scenarios from the control room as this is less intrusive for the participants. The surgical simulator called LAPSIM, Surgical Science LAPSIM, gives you detailed graphics and haptic feedback and students and residents will be able to master fundamental laparoscopic skills. We have two bays in this room which can be reconfigured to make it look like an intensive care unit. We have high fidelity mannequins here and these mannequins help the students to listen to the heart sounds as well as blink, breathe, have pulses, and their pupils react to the lights using pneumatics built inside the mannequins. These high fidelity mannequins have tetherless systems to facilitate the transfer scenarios and to simulate patient care pathways. You could also see clinical equipments like ventilators and air and suction outlets, which gives us a realistic clinical environment. Students can practice simple procedure skills to complex team training skills using simulation here. All these rooms have CAE learning space system to capture everything. We also have birthing, pediatric and infant simulators which are housed in the birthing suite. This 36 week old baby is a lifelike baby I've ever seen in an incubator and you will see realistic chest movements if you connect him to a clinical monitor. Overall, we get a safe and controlled environment where we can practice and make mistakes and learn without harming our patients. The simulation team gives us a pre-brief before the scenarios or what they call it, safe containers. We then have patient encounters and these mannequins even talk to us. Once we reach a differential diagnosis, scenario ends and then more learning happens in the debrief room with the rest of the students. So now we'll be looking at the facilities at the Department of Anatomy and Cellular Biology, which include three dry labs and an instructional studio, also known as the wet lab. The three dry labs house a wide variety of SOMSO anatomical models. Most of the models are comprised of components that can be disassembled and reassembled, allowing the students to study and appreciate the complex nature of the human body in a systemic fashion, as taught here 
at Khalifa University. The Dry Labs are fully equipped to deliver a diverse variety of teaching methodologies with the focus of student-centered learning and facilitation. Sections of the wall of the labs are painted with a high-gloss paint for faculty and students to use as a whiteboard to help demonstrate or illustrate complex anatomical concepts in a visual manner. In addition to the painted wall, the dry labs are equipped with five large interactive screens that broadens the capability of teaching and presenting. Presenting content to both small and large student groups during dedicated lab sessions. Situated within each lab is an anatomage table, which is the most technology advanced 3D anatomy visualization and virtual dissection tool for anatomy and physiology education. The content available on the anatomage table is also fully integrated with the interactive display system, allowing full projection into the five screens previously mentioned in the labs. Finally, the labs are also fitted with world-class audiovisual capabilities. Sessions presented in the lab can be streamed over the internet with fixed and mobile cameras situated in the ceilings to project the sound and vision from one master lab to all the other laboratories in the department. Now we are at the Instructural Studio, also known as the Wet Lab. It's equipped with surgical standard lightning, screens and cameras at each of the eight student and two instructional stations. The integrative system allows one to project any station camera feed to any screen within the lab, including the two large interactive screen and two 4K projectors situated on either side of the venue. The two instructional stations are assist with ventilation to prevent evaporation of fumes into the lab when the section is conducted. Along the walls of the instructional studio, there are both SOMSO models and Von Hagen plastination specimens stored in easily accessible and protective cabinets to aid in teaching during sessions scheduled in the venue. Von Hagen's plastination specimens are one of a kind real human teaching specimens made in Germany and stem from body donors who donated their bodies with willed legal consent for the education of future generations. Adjacent to the instructional studio is the preparation area which has two gross anatomy preparation stations and an L-shaped dissection table with integrative camera capabilities to the instructional studio. This allows the sensitive dissections to be presented to the faculty and staff without them being physically present in the room. We are at the Imaging Center, which is part of the Department of Radiology and Medical Imaging. We are by the SECRA table, which is equipped with a multi-touch display workstation that lets faculty and students access SECRA education portal and its content for engaging group lessons and lectures. By combining the intuitive controls of the SECRA table with the high quality cases found in the SECRA education portal, students can take on an exploratory and tactile approach to their medical education. Interacting with images throughout the learning process supports the tactile memory, making students better prepared to transition from virtual to real life scenarios. The Imaging Center has 24 student stations and one facilitator station, each with a Microsoft Surface Studio 2, which allows the faculty and student alike to view medical imaging on high quality screens. Additionally, the center has two ultrasound mannequins, one male mannequin in which an abdominal ultrasound can be used to view the content of the abdomen, and one pregnant female mannequin where two types of ultrasound probes can be used to inspect the health of the fetus.